No military, no special forces, just Gabe. I love the description. The Siphon Filter single player games are two amazing games for the PSP. They are hidden gems. Not many know how good the games actually are and unfortunately for the games, they were not that much mediated. But I'm here to shine a little bit of light upon these two games. That many of you might not know. So in Siphon Filter you play as Gabriel Logan, a counter-terrorist specialist. Sounds cool. Well, the stories are in both of them. I'm not going to spoil the fun for you, just play the games, the stories are good. The quality of the games can be observed in every action, by the breath you see that rises from the cold, to the vents that leave smoke, the nice looking explosions, the graphics are amazing, they can be compared to the GTA games or Metal Gear games on the PSP, that's how good the graphics look to me. And what will be a game without a solid and fun gameplay? Garbage. Well, these games are far away from being garbage. They are amazing. On top of the awesome graphics comes a solid and fun gameplay. You can use stealth or just ramble through enemies. You get gadgets like night vision or you can electrocute enemies. And if you leave the button pressed when you tase someone, you can set enemies on fire. Not that it helps more, but it's more fun. In rest the controls are nice and responsive, the checkpoint system is well done and also the game loads once at the start and then you can play the long missions without worrying that the game will have any other loading screens. And also another reason for which the games are awesome is that even though they are linear you can choose how to tackle your opponents. For example this guard here. You can take him out by using a knife, by using the zapper, by knocking him down or by pushing the button to electrocute him. As for the story, the two complete each other. Logan's Shadows continues the story from where Dark Mirror left off. Now some differences. Because even though the games tackle things in a similar fashion, the sequel brings improvements. Logan's Shadow has the levels more varied, meaning that even though the graphics are still top notch, the array of levels takes you through more diverse scenarios. The mission variety is even bigger, the controls feel better, also the game has regenerative health, which makes you feel like playing a modern game. Other new features include blind fire or using your enemy as a human shield. Ok, so this was the brief presentation of these two games. Just try them out. They are amazing games, maybe my words didn't convince you, but the games really are hidden gems. And if you are into spying games or into games like Splinter Cell with stealth, give this to a try. Seriously, they are like the blockbuster equivalent. They are pretty high quality with awesome graphics, solid gameplay and nice console-like features. You will feel like having a PS2 in your hands, except for the second analogs. Anyway, just try them out, they are hidden gems. And I forgot a game. Thank you Kale145 for telling me that I missed this one. Siphon Filter Combat Ops is a multiplayer only game that had the attraction that you could create your own missions. Siphon Filter Logan's Shadow had multiplayer too, but there you were limited by the missions pre-made by the game. Here you get to create your own missions. The whole game is based around user created content. You have 4 locations you can create missions in, fortress, village, aerospace and ruins. You can create spawn points, put objects on the map and you'll have plenty of options to edit the parameters of a mission. Overall the game was good only if you like what you hear. Now the servers are down, you can't play the game anymore, but the concept of the game was cool.